How's it going, guys? My name's Okod Player, and welcome back to my channel after like a week. So, yeah, this is a new series I like to call The Talk. And if you haven't seen my update video when I was talking about like how I wouldn't be here and everything in this series, this series is basically going to be me building stuff, anything really. And um, while I talk about random things, well, not really random things, like subjects, I suppose, random subjects that I'll try to make up every day. I might need you guys help on that though, so if you have a subject you'd like me to talk about, write in the comment section below what you'd like to hear me talk about, because, uh, yeah, uh, this series will die real fast if uh, no one comments on what they want to see. And if you're wondering what happened here, I was doing this series, and I messed up a ton. So, I sorta got a little angsty with some TNT. Placed a bunch of it inside the fortress and blew it up and left the top part. And then I made this basically like a base, which is what I needed anyways. So yeah, I guess I should get to the subject at hand. And today's subject is going to be called Asking Out. Because, as if I'm any good at it. But on this subject, I'm going to be using all my failures of asking out and using it for knowledge for you guys to not do what I do. And I'm going to use rules of what you should do using knowledge that I failed at, or from what I've been told from other people. So, I guess to start it off, um, there's going to be three rules you guys should know about, main rules. Uh, first one being, uh, you have to know your timing. Second one, know your spacing. And third one, know your limits. Alright. And so, there's going to be one thing to do if you do ever mess up on one of those. Mainly the know your limits part. Alright, so this is going to be actually a video... Sorry, I, burped, I just ate dinner right now, so... Yeah, if you heard that, yeah, sorry. Anyways, if you hear this video right now, this is going to be a video for any gender to use. No matter if you're a girl asking out a guy, or a guy asking out a girl, or either or. Don't matter. It should work... Or not that it should work, but there should be some good advice in here for both of those. Because I'm kind of, I was sort of clueless when I started off doing this. I still am clueless, but at least I have a better idea on what not to do and what to do using my failures. Because, yeah, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And, uh, makes you work a little faster. And, um, I'm singing a random song that I don't even know the beat to. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a song somewhere. Anyways. Let's, let's talk about the uh, first thing, and that's know your timing. Very important if to know your timing because it will keep you out of the friend zone. Have no clue what the friend zone is? Then you should probably watch, like, uh, I think it was a regular show or something like that. It has, like, a series on, like, episode on friend zone or whatever. But if you don't know what friend zone is and you don't feel like watching Cartoon Network's regular show, then what a friend zone basically is is when you like a girl or guy... Either way, but you take it, you, um, so you start hanging out with them, I guess I should start at that. You start hanging out with them, talking to them, and it's, you think it's going pretty good. But then you end up talking to them and hanging out with them a little too much, never ask them out. So, to the point where they like you as a friend. Nothing more, nothing less, a friend. So, yeah, you don't want to get friends on if you're trying to do this to ask someone out. So, yeah, don't do that. I can use my experience on this one by uh, telling you that one you'll know when you get this little hint hint on your timing because well I think I got a hint hint you, you look like a little thing you, you sort of tell but I kind of messed up on that for the fact that you want to know make sure you're at the right area too when you're doing you're trying to do your timing thing because if you have people around it's not exactly gonna be easy like for me I had two friends around me with the girl I like, and still do, but I'm still failing at it, so, just, you know, bear with me here. Anyways, I tried to talk to her. She walked with me. I was shocked. I was like, oh, hell yeah, it might actually work. I had friends with me. Yeah, you can, you can see where this head out. I had one of my friends talking to me about BB guns. So, yeah, I didn't give her a chance to talk. And then I had another friend literally screaming in my ear, and in her ear, and in my friend talking about the BB gun's ear, 
So I couldn't hear neither the BB gun conversation or like my surroundings. And so that kind of, I'm pretty sure, irritated her a bit. And then I probably looked like a jerk when I told him to shut up because he was being super loud and it was hurting my ears. And I probably should have been, never said shut up. I probably should have said, hey dude, you know you're a little loud. Uh, so you might want to turn that volume down a little bit. But no, I said shut up. So, yeah. That'd probably lead to your know your limits part, but I'm going to wait keep that for the end. So, as you can see, timing and um, same time, knowing when you're going to do your thing is key. So, don't mess up, basically. Know your timing. Don't don't pull an no cod failure. Um... Okay, sorry, I had a swallow. I, I taste cookies. Anyways, yeah, know your timing. Because if you don't know your timing, instant friend zone. You don't want to be instantly friend zoned if you like a girl. Next thing is next. Know your spacing. I don't have any failures at this because I've never made it to the point where I have to know my spacing since I'm friend zoned, so. It kind of sucks, but it's okay. Not really, it's not really okay, but it's. You got what I'm trying to say. Anyways. No, no, your spacing. I, this one was told for me from like a player, if you want to call him that. He has so many. He's asked out so many girls, and they're like, "Wow, you must be a player, an El Cod player." Ha 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 ha. No, I'm playing. I'm not a player. I'm well, technically yes, but not when and it comes to girls. Anyways, yeah. So he said to know your spacing because if you're with a girl, and you end up being with her almost every single day. She's going to see it as you're trying to be a friend because you're not pulling any moves on her. And you've just been with her every single day of the week talking with her. So she's going to see it as a friend friendly. Oh, okay, why, why did I say girl? Girl or guy, excuse me. They are going to see it as a friendly remark. And you don't want to see it as a friendly remark. You want them to see it as... Wow, she's into me. So, in other words, when it comes to spacing, talk to them, like, once in a while, you know, say what's up, don't ignore them completely, like, talk to them for, like, a day or two, and then, like, ignore them for another two days, and say what's up a day later. No, say what's up. It's like, you know, like, hey, what's up, pops? How you doing? Something like that. No, don't, don't do that. That was a joke. Please don't do that. You're probably gonna, you'll screw something up if you do that. Anyways, I'm not saying you will, because you're probably a lot more better at this than me, but, uh, yeah key to know what you're doing on there. Um, hold on a second, sorry. I'm just a little focused on putting down these torches that I completely forget what I'm doing sometimes. Um, yeah. So, spacing. Very important. Don't want to mess that up. Because, like, once again, as I'll say this again, probably many times, instant friend zone if you do. Because you don't, they'll see it as, like, a friendly remark, as I've said this before. So, yeah. Try not to do that. Alright then, next thing's next. Alright, uh, this is one I probably, I actually do have recent, really recent thing, uh, I should say experience of failure, t El Cod failure activity on this. And that's knowing your limits. Because I messed up on that. I try to experiment and see if it would work. Never try to experiment. Ever. Unless you know it's gonna be successful. And, uh, yeah. So, I could tell you my experience on this. Basically, I was talking to this girl via the book for faces. And, um, so I kind of said, was talking to her because I wanted to, I suppose, I think I was talking to her asking if she was mad at me. Because I did do something, I might have cut her off when she was talking. And I was afraid I might have ticked her off when I did that. So I asked her if she was mad at me. She said no, she was cool. Talked about it, we talked for a little bit through the chat and then I got to the subject I suppose I believe it was got to a subject about something about her hair oh, and I said how I, it looked nice on her and she said she said thanks and I was like huh maybe I could push it to another level here and I was like basically I said no seriously though it looks good on you yeah I thought that was a flirt Turns out, per face mode activate on that one because it sounded more of a perv than it did a flirt. So, trying to get to here is don't mess up to the point where you sound like a complete perv. Whether you're a girl 
or a guy. So I, I'm pretty sure girls can also sound like furs. I could just be going out of my mind here and just like blabbering on about this, but yeah, pretty sure it's possible. So knowing your limits is very key to this as well. Son of a gun. All right, that's cool. And um, all right. So here's the one last thing. Now that I told you a story about the thing that I messed up on, and that you probably should not do exactly I did about <sighs> sound like a perv knowing your limits oh one more one more other thing about knowing your limits before I move on to this next step or next key rule I should say is you need to 100% know to not be a jerk if you like a girl and you think being a jerk is gonna help you trust me out of experience I know it's not because after I learned know your spacing, I thought knowing your spacing could mean, you know, joke around like you do with your friends normally would. If you're a guy, meaning like if you're a guy and you like joke around like how us guys would, we'd like, we're, we sort of do those we these weird like guy jokes. It's like, I don't know, guys, guys know what I'm talking about, I hope. I hope they do. I'm pretty sure a good chunk of them like, what the hell? And so, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, damn it. Alright, there you go, I fixed it. Anyways, yeah. So, I ended up being a jerk, because I was talking about, talking to her, and I said something about, I believe, like, we uh, it was one of my friends were with me, and we were talking about, like, I believe it was, like, how he did something dumb, and he got himself in trouble, and got him detention, because... He was talking outside and forgot, completely forgot the bell rang, and was late to class, so he got detention. His brother was telling him how, like, he ought to smack him. So I said to the girl, wow, and I thought you were the mean one. You can see where I kind of went wrong there. Saying that to a lady never gets you anywhere in, in uh, this thing. So, choose your words carefully, I would say. If you're going to make a joke, something like that. I would suggest, like, it be a joke that you know won't be mean. I could see her face. She wasn't very really happy when I said that. And I was like, damn. Kind of messed up there, didn't I? And I didn't say that out loud, but I knew I did. So I was, so I kind of shut up for a lot of the time. I was mostly talking to, the, to him after a while. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably my story on that one. So, one last thing I should say. This one has actually worked for me tons of times. I'm probably not sure how much longer she's going to be accepting these, but because I do mess up a lot, and I, if she ever does see this video, sorry. I, you probably know I'm talking, who I'm talking about if you are that person that may goose her, or I like, I should probably say. I don't know why I said Magusta. I'm talking about some weird things right now, okay? Just, just let me do what I'm doing. All right. Don't know why I thought I said it. All right, once again, da -da -da. go back to, this, back to the thing for back to the matter at hand yeah apologize I've said done this many many times that's the one thing you need to do if you ever mess up with the rule number three and you go over your limits and you sound like a jerk or you sound like a perv and that should be apologize I didn't when I said it really does look nice on her I was in a way trying to flirt didn't go too well. I ended up sounding like a perv. So I made up a excuse for why I sound like that. I said that I was trying to sound friendly and it ended up coming out perv face. So I apologized to her on that. But, and I did do it through Facebook. So I would suggest you don't do that because it's, they like it. Women prefer, or, or women and men, everyone I, th I believe, prefer that you would apologize to them in person rather than through an internet chat source but I only apologize through her through chat because she's constantly with her friends and it would be embarrassing both both to her and me mostly for her if I did that to her in front of tons of her friends it would be like ew does this guy like like you and and then she'll be like, no, I don't know what you mean. I mean, it's a pepperoni face. And I'm like, damn, that sucks. And then, so, yeah, it wouldn't exactly be the greatest thing to find out that the girl you probably like would be trying to cover up with some lame excuse. 
or not lame excuse, but with some excuse of why you did that. So yeah, uh, apologize because if you apologize to her in person, it's probably gonna end up with a better outcome than if you do it over an internet chat source. But if you like, it's to the point where you can't really find good timing. Once again, keyword timing on apologizing then yeah go ahead if you know that they actually will accept it via there then yeah also just apologize to them and to say also that you're sorry that you couldn't exactly meet them in person because it's the truth that you probably weren't able to do it hopefully it's the truth they it's because that you, they, you know they're always with their friends and stuff because not saying it's a bad thing to be with your friends it's always a good thing to be with your friends friends are fun unless they're doing drugs then just don't do drugs kids anyways yeah, so I apologized. Like back to my one of my stories, I apologized after I did that whole per face thing that I didn't mean to do. Meant to be a flirt came out sounding per face, per face like <laughs> you know your hair does look like, hey. <laughs> it. That didn't mean to sound like that either. So yeah, I kind of had to apologize. It worked. So I learned that apologizing really is key. So all those like cheesy things you ever hear your parents tell you about apologizing how it's such a good thing in a golden rule or your teachers tell you it's the truth it's not exactly cheesy because it kind of is the truth on what they're telling you there so I, I would suggest you listen to them and actually apologize if you do do mess up something like that and if this girl hears this and knows who and thinks that I'm embarrassing her I'm apologizing ahead of time like I said apologize apologize is good but apologizing ahead of time because kind of want people not to fail as I did. Sorry. If you don't like that. But yeah. Anyways. Um, so I apologize. Everything worked out fine. So apologize. If you ever do mess up on rule number three. Rule number three is mostly what's going to work for. I'm not sure if you should apologize for messing up your timing or spacing. Like, hey, no, I'm sorry. I couldn't ask you out on time. They're going to be like, um... What are you talking about exactly so yeah these three main rules of should really help whether you're guy girl or the she girl girl guy oreo thing i don't know okay it'll it, it'll just work that's all i know it'll work for the most part it, now if this person's like really strict and like already has somebody then i'm not really sure what to tell you if you get friend zoned, I'm not really sure what to tell you either, because I'm trying to work myself out of that one. But if you know what to do, then I don't know. If you want, just post it in the comments to help out other people or me or whoever with that type of situation. But I can I can only help you with if you don't get friend zoned and you're already trying to start out, but you don't know what to do. I can help you out there because I kind of messed. I'm kind of stuck in a little pickle here because I don't want to find another person. I really like that person. So yeah. Little pickle here. Just like how these stairs keep on coming out messed up, damn it. I was gonna say nothing. Okay, there you go. Good job. Alright. So, let me just finish up these stairs, and that'll. That's pretty much it, all I have to say. Just a real quick recap. Rule number one know your timing. Rule number. Like, know your timing. Don't mess up. Ha like, you'll know when. You'll get, like, a little wink wink hint here. There. Here. Uh, rule number two is know your spacing. Don't be with them every other, every single day of the week. Like, you can be with them, say, what's up, like, once in a while, but don't, like, follow them to lunch and then follow them to their house. And, t t yeah, it's a joke. Yeah, I don't think you should even do that, even if you're, like, even if they know you like you, they like you, and, like, yeah, shouldn't even follow them to begin with. Anyways, um, you should need to know your limits. Very important. Don't flirt if you know you suck, if you don't know if you suck at it or you're good at it. Don't do it. Until you're hundred percent sure, hundred percent, not ninety nine point nine 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 nine, whatever percent, hundred percent sure. You got to be hundred ten ten percent sometimes too. If you're just like one point zero 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 whatever math thing you have, don't do it. Really, just don't do it. So, cause yeah, make sure that uh, you won't mess up on something like that. And um. Yeah, knowing your limits. Also, don't be a jerk because that doesn't give you anywhere. It like might be funny at first when you do it, but not to that person, and uh, you'll regret it after a while. You'll be like, 
damn, did I really say that? And you'll be like, yeah, you dumb. And you'll be like, oh my god. So yeah, I guess let's end it here. Got the stairs done. Finished talking about the, the subject at hand. And got the throne room done. Throne room looks pretty boss. Hopefully it does. It's Fire Kingdom, by the way, if you guys don't know what I'm doing here. It's Fire Kingdom with Fire Pit. It'll be done. It's what I do a lot of times when I'm doing this. So, uh, yeah. You see another video that looks like I'm still building it. And there's no stairs here. It's because it's an older video. Actually, I might even trash that one and just re-talk about it. What I was talking about before. But, yeah. Like and favorite if you enjoyed this series. Subscribe to see more videos similar to this. And, uh, like other Gmod fun things. You know, things that aren't always serious. And, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye!